So I forgot to hit record on the part where we got off the mooring, but Dana handled it like a champ. And we're motoring out now, and we're gonna set the jib for the first time on our own. This is also our first time using the boat on our own. We've been sitting on it for uh, a almost a month and a half. And a half. We've also only been out on a, the boat twice. Yeah, this is only our third time total taking the boat out. First time on our own. Dana is la capitana. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day. Isn't it? I think it's a great day for our first sail together alone. <laughs> we got 10 knots of wind so far. Yeah, I think it's gonna be perfect. We just need to make some tea and then we can head out. David, my brother, who was here for the boat build and who you guys got to know a little bit over the last few months, um, has decided that he's gonna go off and do something else, which we are really excited for him and really happy that we got to experience part of boat life together. But in the end, a lot of our life is related to video editing and that wasn't really, he fi figured out that wasn't his passion and so we want him to find that. And yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that it's just gonna be the two of us again, back to old van lifestyle and we are going to have to figure out how to sail and today is going to be our first sail alone. Look at that. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. My mom made these for us, like needle pointed them. And I think they're beautiful. And practical. It's a perfect gift. Thanks, Mom. proud of myself and good job getting us off to the front of it yeah but I steered the boat used the engine everything worked that was amazing August 2nd. So this is gonna be our month. This is gonna be our August month. August is gonna be our month that we learn to sail. Isn't that exciting? We've got probably 10 knots out today, so I feel like that's a lot to work with, but it's gonna pick up in the afternoon, so we're only gonna go out for a little bit. I don't wanna be too tired when we have to do the mooring thing at the end. Let's see what we're doing on. Okay, so we got four knots. All right. So I need to see. Wow, this is happening. Lou, we're sailing alone right now. <laughs> Woohoo! 
<laughs> we just got our jib up today because Mike thought that it's better just to day sail with your jib a little bit and practice tacking and then we'll do main sail another day. So now we're gonna have a nice easy morning. Our telltales are flying back straight so that means that the jib is fully full. I think you cranked it in enough. I don't really know much about trimming sails so we're gonna have to figure it out as we go but we do feel like we're going slow. Well, we only have one. Sale. We only have one sail up, I think it's good. Now we need to watch for lobster pots and buoys. And rocks. Back to my map. Fish trap area is where we're going, so keep your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good though. Like, we're all in like 22 to 24 feet of water. There's no rocks near us, but we are barely moving. So we need to like look. I can't talk anymore. I need to figure out what's going on. <laughs> There's a buoy right there. Don't you want to go past it? This one? Uh huh. Yeah, I guess we can go past it. Okay, we have a lobster pot dead ahead. Okay, I'm gonna turn now. You watch for the flutter. Off, off, off. Okay, I think we are caught. Oh, yeah. We are caught big. We are a major caught. So, you're gonna have to go up to the front. It got caught on the winch. I know, you need to hold this end. I got it. Yep. Watch on that clear way. Yep. Great job. I got it. I got it. Okay, pull it in. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> okay, you okay? Smash your thumb. Yeah, just go back into the window. Okay. Two knots. <laughs> that wasn't me this time, though. Because you put it on. I had it there. right. Okay, right, well, great job. That wasn't me. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. We're all going to make lots of mistakes. That's part of it. We're already back to five knots, Lou. Nice. You did great. You did I'm good. sorry. All good? Yeah. Got really stuck on that winch. Yeah. This when you don't have enough speed, it doesn't fly out. But that, we were going so fast. I don't know. I got it off really fast. I know. Like, I thought I did it off pretty fast. That was your best one yet. That's awesome. Yeah. So let me go back for our map. We're good. Do you feel like this is a beam reach? Um, yeah, I think I just don't have enough. Or should I fall off more? No, you're good. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. 4.7 knots. Do you some okay? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, super bash. I'm sorry, I put it on wrong. It's okay.
<laughs> we're doing it. We're on our beam reach, our first in, like intentional beam reach. We got kind of caught in irons a second ago, but now we're slowly figuring it out. And it's really fun. Like I feel like the boat is super reactive and we're going our fastest yet sailing 4.5 knots. <laughs> so slow for some, but fast for us. And it's beautiful out here, really calm. Not a lot of people out this morning, so that's nice. So we have a big playground. And yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just taking our, one of our other friends told us, slow is pro. That was a, a saying for docking, but I feel like that's just how we're gonna go through our whole sailing adventure. Just take it easy, take our time learning, and make sure we don't hit a lobster pot. Probably head in soon. I was about to say the same. Okay. So we just successfully finished our first sailing adventure. We tacked what five times? At least. At least. And now we're gonna go back in um, because we're getting a little tired and we want to make sure that we have enough energy to go pick up our mooring safely. But I feel like it was a real success. We definitely like I feel like good about how it went, but I also am like I don't really understand everything completely. So it's definitely gonna be a huge learning curve like this month, don't you think? Yeah. But we're motoring back now just to keep it easy. The jib has been put in. Lou did a great job with it. And yeah, now it's gonna be like the hard part, I think, is like gonna pick up the mooring for the first time alone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I think we can do it. I think we're so. just gonna go in the same way that we came out. Yeah. Slow down, slow down. Reverse. No, we're good. We are safely back on the mooring. That was really intense, Lou. My heart is like still racing. We picked up the mooring, but the like wind was a little different than yesterday. So the boats were pointing in a different way. So I had to go a different route, but we made it work. And I feel like that was very successful other than your smashed thumb. It's okay. You okay? It's just a little. Oh, bleeding. it's bleeding. Not bad. That was my fault. I put the wrap on the winch the wrong way. It but doesn't matter. No, it was overall really successful. And I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of it. It was nice, like we, with the putting the mooring on, like I used reverse for the first time, like in action. And it's pretty impressive, I think, how much throttle the boat has. Like you can keep it, mainly today, we kept it really, really low, but it does have oomph if you need it. And yeah, now I feel like I really should start reading those sailing books. <laughs> milestone for us. And what's that? That milestone is that we hit 300,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Honestly, like it really blows our mind to think that there's like that many people that might be interested in seeing these adventures and yeah, it's kind of honestly like hard to comprehend like that many people. So we're grateful for you here and we don't really celebrate things that often we kind of forget and so we thought that since we found that amazing farmers market stand and got fresh corn and fresh zucchini and tomatoes and basil and so many good things we should actually make a really nice meal because for almost every other meal we just eat plain rice and beans <laughs> <laughs> so we have fresh stuff it's only going to stay fresh for not that long on a boat everything seems to go bad almost instantly so tonight we're going to eat a ton a ton 
of ratchet. Blah, blah. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like pickled onions, but wow. Oh gosh. Is the back window open? No. Will you open that? Get some more air in here. This is our shameful room. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So much stuff. There you go. Look at that. Pickled onions. Your favorite. Look at that fresh corn. Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. So, we have a special thing on this boat, which is a hidden compartment in here. Don't want the plates to fall in. Filled with valuable... Potatoes! <laughs> so, we're gonna make a curry out of these. We're really rocking right now, too. Yeah, I know. There's a storm a brewing. Um, I looked at the um, Predict Wind, which is like an app that tells us what's going on with the weather. And it's gonna be getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until 10 o'clock and then it should be calmer. So dinner could be extremely rocky experience. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of, we've never cooked really under bounciness. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We're rocking so much. Let's eat. Oh, our candle went out. Thank you for cooking. Thank you. Ching, ching. Congratulations. We did it. We did it. Before we get into our dinner, I just wanted to say thank you so much to our patrons. Like really from the bottom of our heart, we're so grateful for all of you and for everybody here watching because we hit 300K and that's what we're celebrating right now. So Lou and I are really overjoyed right now and just excited about the next adventure. I feel like getting out sailing today made me be like, we actually can do this. We just have to practice, but it is like within our reach.